Hello and welcome to Art With Me, Katie Cordy. During this mini lecture, I will teach you a little bit about the history of mail and art. The oldest surviving piece of mail has been dated to roughly 255 BCE, about 2,575 years ago in Egypt. However, we know that ancient Egypt used messengers as far back as 2,400 BCE. The first post office is debated, but Persia, in modern-day Iran, has the highest degree of evidence, dating back to roughly 550 BCE. Back then, mail was delivered by foot or by animal, whether that be a horse, camel, donkey, or pigeon. Nowadays, mail, of course, is delivered by plane, train, and automobile. Mail was developed for many reasons, for sending information, spreading news, the mailing of packages, sending happy birthday cards, or simply giving grandma a card that says you love her. Humans like it if things are visually pleasing, and mail is no exception. Although we have departed from fancy wax stamps, we still spruce up our mail with stamps. There are many reasons people choose to collect them, as each stamp is a work of art, from stamps representing famous people and landmarks, to stamps for special occasions and popular fictional figures, these fancy little stickers promote awareness, education, and joy. Of course, stamps go on envelopes, but who says those must be boring too? Mail art is a fun hobby where you can decorate your envelopes. It may take a little longer for those fancy envelopes to arrive, but they are sure to spread joy. However, maybe a card and envelope are just too boring for you. Depending on where you live, some post offices are willing to ship coconuts, plastic bo water bottles, and even potatoes. A fun surprise for the recipient. Why do people even bother sending out cards anymore, though, when there are instant ways to communicate, whether it be through email, text, or a simple phone call? Cards are something that can be held onto for years, pulled out and cherished when memories need a little bit of dusting off, it is a tangible piece of love. A homemade card is able to be personalized and shows the gift of time rather than a mass-produced card picked up from your local store in an instant. No matter your artistic skills, a handmade card can make someone feel special. I'd like to end this mini lecture by encouraging you to go out and make a homemade piece of snail mail for someone you care about, whether it be a family member, a friend, or a first responder.